This is question 5. We're told for the first three terms of a geometric series of 4p, 3p plus 15 and 5p plus 20 respectively, where p is a positive constant. In part A for four marks, we need to show that 11p squared minus 10p minus 225 is equal to 0. If this is a geometric series, if we divide now the second term by the first, that will be the same as dividing the third term by the second. Just consider now a sequence. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. This is geometric. If we divide 4 by 2, that will be the same as dividing 8 by 4, which in turn is the same as dividing 16 by 8, which in turn is the same as dividing 32 by 16. We can say that a sub 2 divided by a sub 1 will be the same as a sub 3 divided by a sub 2, and so on and so forth. So if I take 3p plus 15 and divide that now by 4p, that must be equal to 5p plus 20 divided now by the 3p plus 15. At this stage, I'm going to multiply both sides by 4p and both sides by 3p plus 15. So on the left-hand side, we'll have 3p plus 15 all squared, or if you like, 3p plus 15 multiplied by 3p plus 15. On the right-hand side, 4p multiplied by the quantity 5p plus 20. So all we need to do here is expand 9p squared plus 45p plus another 45p plus 15 squared, which is 225, will be equal now to 20p squared. This is just expanding the bracket here, plus 80p. I'm going to set the left-hand side to zero. I'm going to subtract 9p squared from both sides. I'm going to subtract the 245p's from the 80, which is going to give me minus 10p. And I'm going to subtract the 225 from both sides. So four marks in total. In part B, it says hence show that p is equal to 5 for two marks. We're told p is a positive constant. So if p is equal to 5, we can say now that p minus 5 is a factor of this quadratic. So what are we left with? We're left with 11p and then we're going to have plus 45. So if I factor this quadratic, this is what I'd have. So that gives us now that p would be equal to minus 45 over 11. p can't be equal to minus 45 over 11 as p is greater than 0. Therefore we can state now that p is equal to 5 as required. So all I've done is factored the quadratic and shown that p can't be the other value. In part c, we need to find the common ratio of this series. So if we take now p equal to 5, we have a first term, which I'll call a sub 1. a sub 1 is going to be 4 lots of 5, so that's going to give me 20. Second term, we've got 3 lots of 5 plus now the 15, that will give me 30. I could stop here and simply divide these two. I'm just going to add the next one. I'm going to end up with 5 lots of 5 plus 20, which is 45. So dividing 30 by 20 or 45 by 30 will give us now our ratio. We can see that the ratio as a fraction will be 3 over 2 or 1.5. In part D, we need to find the sum of the first 10 terms of a series given our answer to the nearest integer. OK, let's collect some information then. A n we want a n we want now the ratio and that's going to give us enough information to go ahead and do this so we've got now the first term which is going to be 20 we've got the number which is going to be 10 and we have a common ratio of 3 over 2. i'm going to use now the sum of n terms of a geometric series is a then we'll have r to the power of n minus 1 over r minus 1. So we can say the sum of the first 10 terms is going to be 20. We'll have 3 over 2, and we're going to raise this now to the power of 10. We're going to subtract away 1, and then we're going to divide now by the ratio minus 1. Now the ratio minus 1 is going to give us 1 half. So I'm simply going to plug this into a calculator, and we're going to find that value. So we'll have now 20 multiplied by 3 over 2, or if you like, 1.5 to the power of 10. We're going to subtract away from that 1, and we're going to divide the fraction by a half. 
So this gives me now 2 to 66.6. 6. So we can say now to the nearest integer, 2, 2, 6, 7. So we'll have the sum of uh, 10 terms as 2, 2, 6, 7 to the nearest integer. So just writing this down, nearest integer. If you want to write the uh, calculator display and then round, that might be advisable. We're asked to give this to the nearest integer. The nearest integer is 2267.